Whoops. Hey Internet, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the John Grave Show. Gangsta Gangsta this week was actually really fun to look at. And they finally gave me, well, like, or at least like they gave me what I pretty much wanted to know more of. I wanted to know more about Warwick and, um, War- Warwick and Nick's past. And seems though as that Nick pretty much wasn't, as always, as stern and as crazed as he is now. Or at least like as silly as he is now. And the same thing sort of goes for Warwick as well. Because it's almost like their personalities were actually pretty opposite. Where where um, Nick was actually way more introverted. Or at least like he was way more innocent in a way. Where like he just wanted to know more about the world. And wanted to make. And pretty much he wanted to make friends. If anything he was more like any other little um, uh, um, uh, kid. And also Warwick also seemed to be a little bit more. I would say he he was way more like um, almost high high and mighty, or at least to the point where he really didn't care care um, too much about what 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 was going on in his life. Well, that happens for rich people. But honestly, the thing is though is that yeah, both of our main characters were actually being 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 abused by their uh, fathers and so on and so forth, and. I don't necessarily know too much more about that, but pretty much like this is when War- when uh, he did tell Warwick that technically he couldn't um, um, he couldn't hear, and you know all this other crazy stuff, which is um, uh, which that which is when those two when they first started started bonding. Now the story of this one is is that they need to identify some bodies that were in the warehouse. I think it's. I think it might have been that one dude who that who that we saw earlier on who who Nick was fighting that B2 and so on and so forth and seems as though as that like they actually had um, um like all those people out there all those people were actually being cut up and disposed of at that warehouse and they needed Warwick and Nick's help to pretty much find out whose bodies they were and they quickly found out well at least thanks to Thanks to Nick's, or at least not Nick's, um, Warwick's photographic memory, he pretty much quickly went on and identified every single person ba- based upon small little things in their bodies and whatnot. And Nick goes on to help out the family in which that they're actually um, cooperating with, and they pretty much go on to deal with this crazy little dude named uh, well now they didn't say his name name in the episode but like it's a small guy who looks like a kid wears a hoodie and shit and has and has dreadlocks and pretty much like he's also a twilight or at least at least like somebody who wears the uh, dog tags and he is very fucking da- dangerous from how it seems he's an a0 the same type as well it's like the same type as um as Nick and they pretty much cut it off like right there. They even talk about one of the other members of the family, one of the higher ranking, um, one of the higher ranking hitmen who's a, I believe he's a D zero, which means that he's way below whatever. Like the, um, 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 the guy who, um, the guy who Nick had to fight, or at least like that small little guy. He's way below his level. But honestly, it does seem as though that like he is capable of doing like some pretty impar- um some pretty some pretty impressive feats, even though at that low level. But honestly, I really do want to see this fight, and I really do want to see what's gonna happen in the next episode. Even though it feels as though as that not a lot has really happened in this series, I'm still at, I'm still looking forward to sort of seeing what's gonna happen next, which is a major praise for what I can say about this to what I can say about plenty of other animes that have come out so far. So yeah, until then, that is what I got to say about that. What do you think about it? Tell me down in the comment section. I'll I'll be reading them comments. So yeah, if you like this video, please please hit that like video. Please hit that like button. I'll catch you next time. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. I'm out.